So often you'll find in ZBrush that it's difficult to see what you're working on. Which of the subtools is selected, which of these is active, these can be difficult to see using the standard interface colors. If however you're happy with the interface colors and you're just struggling to see this, there's a couple of things we can do to change this. One is to go to our preferences menu, preferences palette, which we have over here. I've just docked it over to the side here. If you go to that, you can change the entire palette uh, color using sub palette 2, this color here. You can click on this and drag on anything and you'll see as you as you click and drag it will change that entire palette as I'm moving this around and um, it will change the color slightly. Anything I hover over it will change to that color so if I have a very specific color in mind we can select that. Obviously these colors are quite extreme it does however make for a very legible text. If you just want to keep it to a slight variation on what you already have just hover over this and go left and right you'll get slight variations on it. This does help this pop. It's very clear to see which one's reading, but do be aware that it also affects other menus such as the brush menu, which now becomes a little bit grayer and more, more difficult to see. So as part of that, another option is to change the icon shadow. Um, the icon shadow is the color that you'll see underneath these. We can change that to something like this, in which case then the so palette 2 color can revert back to its original and I'm just going to drag this back over to the original color to see that. Maybe we go slightly darker than normal. Um, that still works for the brush menu. Everything is nice and clear. It's immediately obvious which one of these is now selected. And if we have it on other brushes, even grayed out brushes now become that a little bit more evident because sometimes they were difficult to see which one is the currently selected brush. Um, this does appear in other places like the texture menu um, for selected brushes um, which is great um, in that it, it at least makes it more obvious to see what you're doing so for me the icon shadow is the easiest one to update um, and but the entire sub palette we can change as well if you decide that's not quite the color that you want one last thing is that it, it can also be difficult to see the active sub tool and um, because the difference between them is not that great on the interface so to do this, we go down in the preferences menu again, go down to the edit menu, and you'll see that there's something called inactive subtool dimming. If I lower this value and I click anywhere in the canvas, you'll see that's now the difference between an active subtool and an inactive subtool. So that should make that more obvious as well as making this more obvious. Once you've done with all of this, go to config, store config, and that's it. You'll have it for the next time you start up ZBrush. Hope this helps, and if you find these tips useful, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.